the inspiring story of Du Wan Chang founder of Forever 21. Du Wan Chang is a South Korean-born American entrepreneur and businessman who is best known for co-founding the popular fashion brand, Forever 21. Over the course of his career, Chang has established himself as one of the most successful and influential figures in the fashion industry, building a multi-billion dollar empire from humble beginnings. In this essay, we will explore the life and career of Du Wan Chang, examining his early life, his journey to the United States, and his rise to prominence as a fashion mogul. Early life and background. Du Wan Chang was born on March 20, 1954, in Seoul, South Korea. He grew up in a middle-class family and was the youngest of eight children. Chang's father worked as a farmer, while his mother ran a small coffee shop in their neighborhood. From a young age, Chang showed a strong interest in fashion and design, often sketching his own clothing designs and dreaming of one day becoming a fashion designer. Despite his passion for fashion, Chang's early life was far from glamorous. His family struggled financially, and he was forced to work odd jobs to help support his family. In high school, he worked part-time at a nearby gas station, pumping gas and cleaning the floors. After graduating from high school, Chang briefly attended Dongguk University in Seoul, but dropped out after just one semester due to financial difficulties. Journey to the United States In 1981, at the age of 27, Chang decided to leave South Korea and move to the United States in search of better opportunities. He arrived in Los Angeles with just $500 in his pocket and very limited English language skills. Despite the challenges of starting a new life in a foreign country, Chang was determined to succeed and began working odd jobs to make ends meet. For the first few years in the United States, Chang worked as a janitor, gas station attendant, and even a coffee shop employee. Despite his humble beginnings, he remained focused on his dream of becoming a fashion designer and worked tirelessly to improve his skills. He enrolled in a community college to improve his English language skills and took classes in fashion design and pattern making. The birth of Forever 21. In 1984, Chang and his wife Jin Sook opened their first clothing store in Highland Park, Los Angeles. The store was initially called Fashion 21 Inches and sold clothing for women in their 20s. Chang's vision was to provide trendy clothing at an affordable price point, filling a gap in the market that he believed was being underserved by high-end fashion brands. The store was an instant success, with customers flocking to buy the latest trends at an affordable price point. Chang and Jin Sook worked long hours to keep up with demand, with Chang often working on the store's design and production while Jin Sook handled the business operations. In 1989, they changed the store's name to Forever 21, a nod to their goal of providing fashionable clothing that could be worn by people of all ages. Over the next few years, Forever 21 grew rapidly, with the company opening new stores across the United States and internationally. The brand became known for its affordable and trendy clothing, and it quickly gained a loyal following among fashion-conscious consumers. By the late 1990s, Forever 21 had become one of the largest fashion retailers in the world, with over 500 stores across the globe. Challenges and controversies. Despite its success, Forever 21 has not been without its challenges and controversies. In 2001, the company was sued by a group of former employees who claimed that they had been forced to work overtime without proper compensation. Forever 21 settled the lawsuit for $1.3 million, but the company continued to face allegations of labor violations. In 2012, the U.S. Department of Labor launched an investigation into Forever 21's labor practices, resulting in the company being fined $1.8 million for violating minimum wage and overtime laws. Forever 21 has also faced criticism for its environmental practices, with reports suggesting that the company contributes to the fashion industry's significant waste and pollution problems. In addition to these controversies, Forever 21 has faced financial difficulties in recent years. In 2019, the company filed for bankruptcy, citing increasing competition from online retailers and changing consumer preferences. As part of the bankruptcy proceedings, Forever 21 announced plans to close over 200 stores globally. 
personal life and philanthropy. De Wan Chang is married to Jin Suk Chang, who co-founded Forever 21 with him. Together, they have two daughters, Esther and Linda. The family is known for being private and has largely kept their personal lives out of the public eye. In addition to his work with Forever 21, Chang is also involved in various philanthropic efforts. In 2009, he and Jin Suk donated $5 million to the non-profit organization, Child Mind Institute, to support children's mental health research and treatment. The couple has also been involved in supporting various charities in their local community, including organizations that provide assistance to low-income families and immigrants. Conclusion De Wan Chang's journey from a Korean immigrant with limited English language skills to a fashion mogul and multi-billionaire is a remarkable story of perseverance and hard work. Through his vision and determination, Chang was able to build Forever 21 into a global fashion brand that revolutionized the industry and made trendy clothing accessible to millions of consumers. While the brand has faced challenges and controversies in recent years, its impact on the fashion industry and popular culture cannot be denied. Chang's legacy as a pioneer in affordable fashion will undoubtedly continue to influence the industry for years to come. Thanks for